Um, I guess that by by uh, changing the name uh, legally, you open up for new territory of research. So rather than to operate in the field of pseudonyms, you act in the field of homonymy. Um, basically, anyone can adopt a pseudonym and dismiss it at any time when they want it, you know, uh, without asking any kind of permission without doing paperwork and so on. Uh, but when you change your name legally, you have to go through that administrative process and procedure, and then you have to use your name, um, or actually you are subject to use your name, you are subject to a certain kind of regulation which are defined by law. So you also have to change all your legal documents from your identity card, passport, health insurance cards, driving license, credit cards, working permit, everything. So all of the above uh, mentioned, it creates the prerequisite for uh, a challenging field of, of action and for the further investigation of all the phenomena that are linked to that, like we like to call it collateral effects of the legal name change, which is in our case also a Collect. Well, in general, anything um, one doesn't understand or doesn't get uh, completely can be felt as a menace. Uh, and nowadays, people are more inclined to fiction than the reality. So I guess that if we would just adopt a pseudonym, that would be taken in a different way. Because would be less uh, fair, so to say. So, um, in general, there were different reactions to our uh, legal name change and different interpretation too, ranging from political to philosophical to even psychoanalytical kind of interpretation and reaction. Uh, someone saw our uh, our gestion of of the legal name change as a promotion for the politician, someone else, as a devaluation of his name. Someone thought it was a self-promotional strategy, a kind of a marketing strategy. Someone else thought it was a kind of a sacrifice, a sort of a romantic gesture in a non-romantic era, or when romanticism is actually... Um, not so uh, fashion. Uh, and other, other people thought it was a form of colonization of signifier, and as you saw in the movie. Basically, in the movie, there are plenty of those interpretations, including the reaction of the art world and the people acting in the art field. So, uh, but uh, the, most, of the, most of the art world, though, was... Uh, more, uh, uh, in a sense, unfriendly to the change than the authorities? Well, um, here there can be several reasons, uh, and you would have to ask them, actually, but one of the reasons would be like they can see this as a menace because we were working, uh, we are working in the same field and we were getting a little bit more of attention and they were not comfortable with that or, uh, or Somebody else, actually, as Leo Kraft stated in the documentaries, because um, nowadays um, art um, is more focused on, on simulation and fiction, and uh, it's hard to accept uh, something that has been done for real, like the real name change, with all the consequences. Okay. Uh, well, it could have been perhaps another name, but I choose this one. <laughs> so, uh, I've changed my name for personal reasons, and therefore I wouldn't like to, to comment on the peculiar name that I've chosen. So the name could have, uh, the name change could have happened in any other countries or with any other um, name of a known person, 
But I guess that uh, the basic question would still be the same, whether you do it in Slovenia or someone else. And the question are, like, what is a personal name? What is the role of a personal name uh, in the society? What happens when the personal name of a known public figure suddenly multiplies and starts to appear locally and internationally in context other than the original ones? Does the multiplication of a name lead to a devaluation of the original reference, of the original signifier, or does it rather contribute to its popularity and dissemination? In what way does the multiplication of a personal name render the, the whole communication confused and unstable? Is this having a sort of a hacking effect on it? or not? What does a personal name mean in terms of brand in, in our contemporary society? What kind of move is for an artist which is already established to give up his own brand in the midst of, it, of his career and take on a brand new name? Uh, is that a marketing suicide or it's a smart move? Who knows? And finally, uh, what would happen if all of us, everybody, would have the very same name? I am actually not following very carefully and very close all the recent legal trouble the politician has. Uh, as far as I know, he had support even before uh, my name changed. So, legally speaking, my name changes Yannick Yansha and the politician's legal name is Ivan Yansha. So, I have no trouble with the justice and my name is not loaded with any kind of bad connotation. Uh, this question can be, can be asked for basically nearly any kind of activity in this society of spectacle. Performance, I think, is a communication act. And in our case, are, other, are rather other people entering in a performative situation because they are the one having difficulties in their everyday life using our names, addressing us as Yanis Yansha, right? The, 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 the problem um, is not so... Um, um, eradicated in, in, in ourselves. It's more on the, on, on the other people, the people that are using the name actively. So um, I would say that we are doing no performance here. Uh, when you adopt the pseudonym, you are closer to a situation or you actually you are like an actor uh, playing a character, right? You you play that character as long as you are on the stage or as long as you want your performance to last and then you, when the performance or the show is, is over, you can go back to your everyday life, to your real persona, and you can do this in and out and anytime you want, right? We are in a rather different situation. We uh, legally changed our name and now by law, we have we committed to use those names in all our legal transactions. Uh, when we sign contracts, when we legitimize ourselves in front of a policeman, and so on and so forth. Um, so, to conclude, I think that for our friends, parents, audience, and so on, would have been much easier to accept a pseudonym or a character or a role, but actually we are not playing Yannis Yansha. Yannis Yansha is the name that we have and we, and we have to, to have. So, I would like maybe to specify or to point out that we share a subjective identifier, or actually we share the same identifier, same name, 
rather than a subjective identity. So if you allow me to quote Hans Bernard from the ubermorgan.com, in the movie, in, the part, uh, in a part of the movie, he says, the identity is not your name, it's something else, it's you. So, still you are right when you are asking this question, uh, as the homonymy rendered the, the, the signifier rather unstable and this created uh, a big deal of confusion among, um, among the, um, the general public and the media. But we have actually not received any kind of pressure to retreat our name. Nobody actually menaces us or force us uh, to change our name a second time, uh, back to our previous name or forward uh, to another name. And also, I'm not sure whether I would agree on, the, on what is state, stated in the question that at a certain point we all became equal actors. Uh, because actually we never had the power and we still do not have the power that the politician has, neither in political uh, nor in mediatic or uh, financial sense. So we all basically only share the same name. We are referring to the same signifier. But uh, in our case, it's a legal name, and in this case, it, it's a pseudonym, being his real name, even if his legal name. Well, if you ask uh, Yanis, he would say yes. Instead, if you ask Yanis, he would say no. But if you ask me, I would say yes and no.